So a another legend that you were um, with when they unfortunately were murdered was the Notorious B.I.G. So can you tell our viewers a little bit about that night or things that you recall or just how that impacted you? Well, I, I would go I would go as far as this, you know, listen, or we've talked about that on a lot of different platforms and everything yeah. like that. But um, when you are... I, I, I've I been through a series of murders. Yeah. I was there at City College when eight kids lost their life. Oh. I the one who opened the door for them, and they fell dead on the floor. Oh. Eight of them died right there. One died at the hospital. I was uh, at a club at um, on Columbus Avenue when another individual, up-and-coming rapper or whatever like that from the Bronx, got shot dead in the head. Uh, right there on the floor at the uh, Sweetwaters. Mm -hmm. I think that's the name of the club or the Sweetwater. And they were doing security at, that night. And the individuals came and told me, said, yo, somebody about to get killed in here, Gene. And so I said, yo, nobody got, came through the door with no guns. He said, they came through the back kitchen. And when I, as soon as I turned on the light, the light came on, you see a dude, something go pow. And the dude smoke in the air. The dude hit the ground, blood over there. So... Outside of that and just, you know, just normal shootings at the club. Yeah. You take it in as that's a way of life. Mm. But you don't know that you in trauma. And I didn't know that until I was faced with uh, a guy that had five, three guys had five guns to my head and was beating me mm. with guns. So you don't know you, you're going through trauma. You, yeah. you, you experience trauma. Until you're out of it, mm -hmm. so I would I would just have to say that the effect that it had had on me is that it's hard, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to explain it, but you try to use friends, family, people to get through the the feeling that you have yeah. to make a new day yeah, another cope. day mm -hmm. to cope yeah you you try to find something to help you with your coping skills yeah and then you know you just got a man up yeah it, it's so interesting you bring that up because the last couple of shows you've been speaking about mental health and so all of these things that you've witnessed do you have you kind of ever thought about seeking any like professional like therapist or anything like that to kind of cope with the things that you've seen because it could be traumatic well um i think that your faith mm -hmm. and that this is not good for everybody mm -hmm. but we all have a prescription inside us mm -hmm. you have to be willing to open yourself up and medicate yourself with your knowledge your spirit mm -hmm. and what you've learned over the years. Right. So I'm able to look inside me. And if I had to go in my basement or somewhere and meditate, cry Decompress, yeah. and pray. Mm -hmm. And my mom tell me read Psalms 91. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 um, uh, the Lord's Prayer, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you need to do mm -hmm. to understand that this too shall pass. Right. Some people can't do that. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I use my spirit, my soul, and my knowledge for my self-medication. Mm -hmm. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 